In a game, some might have thought would have been an easy shutout. The EIU Panthers came to Champaign to put on a show. Really excited. I've never been like in the arena, so it'll be fun to be in a big place. And it was a big stage for two local teams. The lineup was a bit flat in the first half, but their tune changed in the second. EIU senior point guard to Kenya Nixon says while her team played aggressively all game, she noticed a change in the line. I think at one point in the second half, they just made the decision that they wanted to win more. Eastern fans agree. The Panthers played their hearts out and made Charleston proud. This was the first year Lee Buchanan served as the head coach. And with the Panthers winning a postseason game for the first time, <laughs> He says this game was what he had been waiting for all season. You know, I thought uh, I thought we played about 35 minutes of some of the best basketball we played all year. But even playing the best basketball, this matchup was either team's game. The Panthers were able to hold the lead and the momentum going into halftime. That was just the motivation that line I needed. I wasn't as concerned with the score as I was with our effort. I just didn't feel like our effort was there across the board. Things weren't going our way. The start of the second half, we gave up five offensive rebounds in the first couple of minutes and, and just seemed like it was a struggle. A struggle? The line I got worked out. Eastman committed several turnovers in the game, which allowed U of I to capitalize on points. Opportunities, but we, we did try to run and, and look for opportunities to go off those turnovers. Been our goal to you know get here since we've Got gotten here. to Eastern. So <laughs> you know, I mean, to be here and you know the win over Missouri and then coming in here and competing with some of the best, it's just it's awesome. In Champaign, I'm Brittany Brooks for WEIU Sports Watch. <laughs>